This is a walkthrough video of 2127 South Jefferson. This is a large home um, in an absolute perfect location here. That's the corner of Jefferson and Hyde Park there. And uh, you can see the scale of the homes that are now going up here. Arlington Park is just beyond the way there. The thing about this house, it sits on this enormous half acre lot and it is quite possible to subdivide this um, and make another uh, home site right here while keeping the existing home. This home is large. It is actually two homes. There's, there's, um, there's two kit, two full separate homes here. So one half could be rented. At one time it was combined, but there are two kitchens as you'll see. I'm gonna do this ground floor unit first. Uh, the total square footage here is 2825. The home was originally built in 1949, and then it was added on uh, years later. So you can see, you can see the big open lot and, and the street here. And you can also see the yappy dog who wants to say hello. So this is the original part of the house. It is a wood frame structure, and it has this foyer that opens out into the living space. And that's all right. Um, over here is a den. So that's what this room is here with uh, kind of a cedar plank ceiling. I know, yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the windows are good. Um, kind of neat built-ins here, along with the... Um, uh, living area which is very cool this is the master bedroom however it doesn't have a bathroom attached it's quite possible to because there's a big room over there that could be converted for a new master bath making this a real nice master suite there's a pass through to the kitchen over here as I walk over here this is the this is um, the main bathroom in the ha in this part of the house and it has this enormous shower which is all tile it's uh this would be a good handicap accessible shower the bathroom is large as well just has four uh, cultured marble tops um, nice LED lighting this is a guest bedroom and again you can see the windows windows are vinyl clad windows um, and it's it, it's a it's a fine room, about 12 by 12. But this is the room, which is actually another bedroom that I would recommend making into a master bath and a master closet because the master bedroom is right over there. This room is obviously just being used for storage, but this is a third bedroom. So as it stands right now, there are three bedrooms and one bath over here, plus that den there. Has an eat-in kitchen here with cabinetry, and um, this is just a Formica top. Uh, older cabinets, but it's uh, it's all cute and tidy. The flooring is a bit disjointed. We probably have some original hardwood right here, and then tile in the bedrooms and in the kitchen. Here we step down into the laundry room. There's a little step down, and at one point. At one point, there was a doorway right there that connected to the other unit. And when we go, you'll see. Additionally, there was another point of access right here. There are two separate panels, even though there's one meter for electric, but there's completely separate panels, one for the addition. It's all clad in vinyl siding, and it has a metal roof. And... Um, it's in good condition for an old 1949 home. The, uh, the update has, um, uh, I gotta find out what year that was completed, but you can see the massive backyard here. Um, the fence line that separates those two lots is right there about in the middle of the property. And so that's, that's where we're talking about subdividing the property. So here you can see the meter, but just a big, Big backyard with some great trees, plenty of space over there. Um, there's a lot of space on this lot along with the shed. I'm gonna walk back through here and then I'm gonna go to the other side. Uh, like I said, originally there was a door there, that a doorway that connected the two and that would be very easy to add back in. Okay. Walking out the way that I came, I'm going back out to the outdoor porch area. 
back to Jefferson. And I love this area. I run by this. This is neighborhood I live in. It's a great, great neighborhood. The price is four seventy-five, um, and I'd have to put a value on this on this lot, of maybe upwards of two hundred thousand. So, this is a lot of house for that. Okay. So I'm walking into, I guess this is the foyer of the second house. Say hi, Kathy. Right. Hi. Hello. And there's a laundry room. There's a laundry room right there. <laughs> and the laundry room right there. And that. And so we. Uh, and you'll see where where they the houses used to interconnect. But this goes out to the backyard as well. Um, and you can see the fence line right there that separates those two lots. So this probably was a porch at one time because it looks like exterior siding, uh, T111. And this is the other unit. Originally there was a doorway there that connected these two. And I think it was separated, made a separate unit, and that's when this kitchen was put in. So you a little dining area here and a little galley kitchen. Drop ceiling um, just for mica. Again, here, this is where that panel was on the other wall for the other unit, and I believe that there was a doorway there at one time that looks like it's been enclosed. But this could be completely opened up um, and made to be a really cool little, little guest unit. There are two bedrooms upstairs, so one, and plus a little, little office area, which is kind of cool. So this is a small um, apartment that could be that could be rented out separately. Okay, so I'm coming up the wood stairs and I will start in the bathroom right here. And just a tub with a, with a fiberglass shower and see some past, past roof issues it looks like. Um, that was prior to, the, prior to the metal roof going on. We have popcorn ceilings, probably should be scraped off. Uh, this is a bedroom here. Uh, it has a king size bed in it right now, so a little tight with the king size bed. But then you have another bedroom up here, which seems is probably the same size. It actually seems a little bigger. And then over here is just this little office area. So this is kind of like a little loft area above the stairs walking down there. But this would be great for just to make a little office, put a desk in here. It's light, open and airy. The windows are nice, the roof is good. And um, here kind of give a commanding view of the property here. So you can see uh, a shed over there. So it's very feasible to uh, subdivide this, build another home next to it, keep this house. You can see the roof. It's a nice uh, green metal roof. Looks to be in good condition. And as I come back down, so I wanted to do this video because it is a little difficult to explain how this how this property interconnects and how it's uh, subdivided. But it certainly is two units, standalone units, and it comes with basically an extra lot. So I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International. Uh, this property is listed with uh, Kathy Rustin of Remax. And as always, thanks for watching.